Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. In a previous video, I showed you how to build a simple retrieval augmented generation chatbot using open source libraries. In this video, we're going to scale things up a bit. And instead of using the Facebook Face library for embeddings, we're going to use Amazon Open Search Serverless. So a managed service that should help us scale our solution and will work with a slightly bigger data set instead of just indexing three PDF files like in the previous video. Okay, let's get to work. The high level architecture is still the same. We have an ingestion process and this time we'll ingest a hugging face data set uh, containing news articles. We'll use an embedding model. We'll store our embeddings into Amazon Open Search serverless and we'll query those embeddings, uh, retrieve um, useful content and put everything into a prompt and feed that to our LLM. And I will still use the Mistral 7B model hosted on SageMaker. Okay, so high level architecture is the same, but I guess our uh, search infrastructure now is much more, uh, much more scalable and managed and, and resilient instead of just using Facebook uh, face inside a notebook. Okay. So let's start with the open search cluster and uh, I have some news to share there. In the interest of time, I've already created the open search infrastructure. Um, so good news, bad news. Good news is it is super simple to create uh, a collection, uh, which I have done here. Uh, it is really as simple as clicking on <laughs> create collection, right? And so once you have a collection, all you have to do there is create an index. And Open Search now supports vector indexes, which is exactly what we want, right? We want to store those embeddings, so high dimension vectors, uh, and, and query them. So um, if you click on this, uh, you just give your index um, a name, you add a vector field. Uh, I would recommend that you use the default name for that field, which is vector underscore field, uh, because that's what uh, Langchain seems to use by default. So if you use fancier names, you have to tell Langchain where to query. So vector underscore field is, is simple. And just leave everything default. And uh, one thing you don't want to get wrong is the number of dimensions. Okay, so the actual size of that vector. And obviously this will depend on the embedding model that you use. Okay, so you need to check the number of dimensions for your embedding model. For me, it's 384. And um, that's the number you need to enter there. Okay, enter all that stuff, click on confirm. You will have your collection, you will have your vector index. Uh, and that stuff is ready in no time. Okay, so that's the good news. The bad news is, and if somebody on the uh, open search team is listening, uh, happy to provide more detailed feedback privately. I had a very, very hard time figuring out uh, permissions and, and I am for all of this. Um, so I'll show you my end setup, uh, the final setup that just works for me. Uh, I'm not claiming it's great, it's certainly um, not secure enough uh, and it's probably plain wrong. But in the end, this is the only thing that ended up working for me. Um, and again, open search team, I think a little more documentation or maybe just an end to end example uh, would be super valuable. Um, this felt way too hard for me. So how, does, how, do, I, how do I solve this? Um, so I am running my notebook, which we'll look at uh, in a minute. Um, on a SageMaker instance. Okay, so it's the managed EC2 instance. It needs to invoke open search APIs. So it needs IAM permissions for this, right? So the role, and it would be the same if you ran a plain EC2 instance, right? So the role attached to that instance needs to include um, this stuff, right? So I created an inline IAM policy that gives me full access to all the Amazon Open Search Serverless AOSS uh, APIs on all resources. Again, this is way too permissive for production, but um, 
I decided to take shortcut in, uh, in, in a shortcut and just make it work. Okay, but you will need uh, those APIs to be uh, allowed on, um, you know, maybe on your Lambda function or on your EC2 instance, etc. Okay, so you'll need that. Uh, text tract is is not needed this time. I have text tract here because in the previous video we we used text tract uh, from the notebook instance. Okay, so you definitely need to have this, but it is not enough, right? It is not enough, and you also need in uh, open search um, in the data access control section for your the collection you created. You need to allow uh, your principal, so the role attached to the, in, in this case, the, the notebook instance uh, running the code, you need to add that principal to that policy, right? Uh, by default, it has a policy for, it has the principal for my, my user, my console user, which I guess allows me to run um, the, the open source, uh, the open search operation in the AWS console. But if I want to run stuff programmatically, uh, I have to have the role here. And well, I guess, you know, I'm an idiot. And maybe I forgot everything about I am, uh, but I couldn't find uh, a good documentation on why and where and how to do this. So just started trying things and this ended up working. OK, so but again, I'm an idiot, as we know. So uh, long story short, make sure the role of the uh, the AWS resource running the code includes the open search API uh, permissions as a as a policy here and make sure um, you enable uh, the that role as a principle for your open search collection which in the end makes a lot of sense but uh, I wish I'd found a, a nice page or a nice example to walk me through it because I'm an idiot and I'm lazy as well okay Enough I am. So um, we have our open search cluster set up, okay? And now we can start working with it. Um, so I will still be using Langchain. I will still be using Hugging Face. In fact, I'm using the same uh, LLM and the same embedding model as before. Um, I will still deploy my LLM to SageMaker. Um, I will still run my embeddings as part of the ingestion process in Langchain and of course, I will be using open search serverless instead of Facebook things. Okay, uh, maybe let me zoom in a tiny bit. Okay, so install the dependencies that we need here. Import a whole bunch of objects, right? We'll see them in action in a minute. Um, not No changes on the SageMaker side. I don't think I have any... Well, obviously, I am not ingesting PDF files this time. I'm, I'll be ingesting text, okay, from a Hugging Face dataset. So I have a Hugging Face dataset loader, and I think that's about it. Uh, and I will query open search, so I need that object as well. And I need a couple of uh, open search um, objects as well for authentication, right? Because we're not done with authentication. Anyway... Okay, first step, same as before, uh, deploy the LLM on a SageMaker endpoint, exact same code as in the previous video. Uh, so deploy Mistral 7B on uh, G5 to Excel instance using our nice hugging face LLM inference container. Okay, and you don't have to write that code, just so you know. If you go to the Mistral model uh, page on the hugging face hub, we generate the code for you. Okay, just click on deploy SageMaker in case you want to try another model. Um, I deploy the model, but I don't wait for the model to be deployed because this takes a few minutes and I guess I can take care of other things. Okay, so that's why we have wait equal false. So this will return immediately. And of course, we'll have to check later on that the model is deployed before we actually start invoking it. Okay, but that's a good tip to keep going with our process while the model is deployed. OK, um, just like in the previous video, we need to adapt the uh, input and output for Langchain. So um, um, again, same as before, the input function just adds the uh, Mistral prompt. OK, if you use a different model, you certainly will have to change the prompt format here. 
in the output, um, which uh, just filters the, um, the instructions that are also uh, including the answer. So I will just show you the answer and not the, not the prompt and not the chunks coming from the, the rack system. Okay, but same as before. Okay, um, we take that endpoint and make it a, a length chain LLM that we can feed into a chain. No difference there. Okay, so now um, LLM, uh, the LLM side of things is taken care of. Uh, that thing is deploying, it's configured, it'll be ready to go. So let's fetch some data. So um, again, previous video, I showed you PDF files and I thought, well, I need to show you something else. So uh, Langchain has a nice data loader for hugging face models and I thought, why not? And um, this uh, Reuters data set is, is pretty nice. I've, I've used it before. And it includes, as you would imagine, uh, news articles, and um, and the article itself in, is in the text column. So why don't we load that stuff, and we see that we have about 20,000 uh, news articles. Okay, so interesting data set. And this is one of them, right? Uh, and it's, you know, it's a little bit long and... It's got some metadata as well that I won't be really using, but I'm sure you could. Uh, I guess the dates in particular would be quite interesting to uh, to manage um, in, in open search. But yeah, haven't done it this time. Okay, so I've loaded my 20,000 articles. I'm going to split them into smaller chunks. I'm still using the recursive uh, splitter from Langchain uh, with smaller chunks. Um, why not? Because the articles are rather short in a way, so I do not I do want to have like tiny, tiny sentences, and I guess I want to be looking for precise facts. Uh, so you know, I figured, hey, maybe I want to try smaller chunks. Okay, so split those. Takes a few seconds. I end up with 150k chunks. Okay, and well, here's the first one, I guess, which is pretty much the first sentence from the first article and metadata. Okay, so now my data has been loaded, it's been chunked. Um, next step would be, of course, to uh, to embed it. Okay, um, so we'll use the same embedding model, uh, the BGE small uh, V1.5. Um, please look at the, the leaderboard that we've built for embeddings on the uh, MTEB uh, embedding benchmark. Um, I think at the time of recording, this is number eight, um, which is still better than the OpenAI embedding model. Somebody asked the question in the comments. So yeah, this is a good one. And it's it's pretty small and it's pretty fast. Uh, and feel free to try something bigger, although of course embedding time will go up. Okay, so remember I said when we create the open search collection, we need to know how many dimensions we have. So, of course, you can go and check out the model page or you can retrieve that value from um, the model configuration, right? Uh, and again, this will be 384. Add this to Langchain as a hugging face embeddings model and we're good to go, okay? So, LLM deploying, data ready, embedding model ready. So, now it's almost time to embed and ingest. Uh, of course, we still need to do a bit of security. We need to define the credentials for uh, our um, um, indexing operation, okay? So that's not too difficult. Um, you need the name of the of your open search host, which you will find in the, in the open search uh, console, okay? You don't, you should not, or I guess you must not include, you know, HTTP, HTTPS. You must not include port numbers, etc. Just the name, okay? And of course, I tried all those things and, well, wasted my time on it. Um, the name of the index that you created, okay? So that's the vector index name, uh, the region you're running in, and then just grab your credentials from. Uh, from from Voto three, um, and create um, an AWS V four signature using those credentials for that region and for that service, right? And this must be Amazon Open Search Serverless AOSS. Don't use ES, which would be um, Elastic Search, and yeah, it's not gonna work. 
Okay, um, if you don't know what an AWS v4 signature is, lucky you, uh, just trust me that you need one. And basically, it's how we sign HTTP queries or HTTPS queries actually, uh, going to uh, AWS services. Okay, okay, so now we're done and we can start embedding and um, and storing stuff. Okay, so we have 150k. Um, uh, documents or chunks, I should say, to embed. So to make sure th th stuff was really happening, I decided to uh, embed and index them uh, 100 at a time. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here, uh, breaking down my uh, list of documents into uh, sublists containing hard docs. You don't have to do that. Um, it's just that I wanted to make sure I, I saw some progress. You know? And then I'm just taking 100 docs. And, uh, and using the Langchain uh, open search object to ingest those 100 docs, and they will be embedded automatically and stored in my, um, in my open search cluster uh, using um, HTTPS and, and the signature, etc., etc. Okay. And of course, the index name, right? So that's what it is. Um, not too complicated, um, but yeah, you, you need to get all those uh, security details right. Um, and uh, if you have good DevOps engineer, um, they, they'll figure that stuff out, right? <laughs> they'll make it safe and and they'll lock down the configuration. Um, but yeah, the, the I, I actually spent more time on IAM and, and AWS v4 than on anything else, which is a bit frustrating. Anyway. Okay, so we store all those things. Okay, so it takes a little while because again, I'm I'm doing this on this instance. It's a tiny instance, by the way. I'm still, I'm running everything here on a T3 instance. Um, so uh, so for sure, you know, the embedding model running there is not running at full speed, and it's still running on CPU. So uh, probably you wouldn't want to do this on a, either in in a notebook or or. Neither in the notebook nor on a, on a tiny G, a CPU instance. Okay, but so don't don't mind the time if you use a proper production server for this. It'll be much much faster. Okay, so ingestion is complete. Um, let's take a quick look at the uh, open search index. Okay, so um, all right, we have 150 something documents, which is close enough to what I had in my collection. Okay, we can see the index is 1.4 gigs. All right, well, looks fine to me. And I guess we have metrics. Sure, okay, all right. We have some metrics there showing us data rate, success rate, etc., etc. Okay, well, so everything's ready, it seems, and we can continue, okay? Okay, so now we can start asking questions. Um, we just need to set our open search collection as the retriever. We'll return 10 chunks. Uh, the prompt template, right? Pretty straightforward. Feel free to tweak. Uh, this time I'm asking the agent to to cite the title of the articles it's used. So let's, let's see if this works. Okay, the prompt template, the retrieval chain, okay, the LLM, we'll use the stuff uh, type, so just pack all the chunks together, our retriever, and the prompt, okay. Uh, we just need to make sure the LLM has been deployed, so given the ingestion time, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was deployed, there's a simple way to do this. We just use a waiter. So just asking uh, the SageMaker client to wait until this particular endpoint is up. Okay, and of course it is. Okay, and now we can ask questions. So let's try this. What are the worst storms in recent news? We just had a very bad storm in, in Western Europe or in France at least, heading out to the UK. Good luck with that. And uh, yeah, let's ask that, okay. So we're going to embed that query with our embedding model and 
uh, go for go look for uh, relevant um, documents in our vector index, return them, add them to the prompt, and then let the LLM generate. Okay. And so this is what we get, and we get two Reuters articles. Okay, so we get the sources that worked. This is pretty good. And uh, we could go and check those particular um, documents and and you know maybe fact check that the answer is correct. So the the Reuters data set is is includes pretty old stuff, right? So it's pretty fun. I mean, you can ask questions about the USSR and so on. So uh, it's good fun. It's good fun. Uh, you can you can explore. Uh, history with this okay well this is really uh this is really what i wanted to show you um so um i guess a nice upgrade to our uh, our previous attempt at uh, retrieval augmented generation definitely um you know i like the open search uh, managed service uh, i like the scalability i didn't like the permission so much but that's probably me um, and it's working fine and uh, I guess I'll continue I'll continue exploring okay so as usual everything will be available just go and check out the video description and uh, yeah let's see where it, we take this next and until this happens keep rocking